Hi guys, this is Christian with Better Body Bootcamp and we are here right now at the Cipollini at the Americana here in Manhasset. And we got a few things that we're celebrating and we want to share it with you guys. So let's go on inside and I'll share with you what we got going on. Let's go. What's up guys? We got Christian here. What's going on? We got Elise. It is Jess's birthday. Guys, toast for Jess's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, Happy birthday Jess. Jess. Let's go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, break up the schedule a little bit, right? Everybody's been working super hard, right? With Kathy gone. Oh, uh, well, I can speak for myself. I'm not sure about you guys. How hard you've been working. <laughs> Christian had yesterday morning off, right? Yeah, yeah, yesterday morning was so, yeah. What are your hours down to? 60, 70? Yeah, at least. Yeah. yeah. So, a better body that's considered part-time, guys. Because there's seven days in a week, 12 hours in a day. True. So, that's 96 hours. At least. Yeah, so anything less is part-time, guys. So, that's just better body hours. We always like to say, if you want a vacation, go work at Amazon. All right, so long. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and at least you're not anywhere close to 90 hours, right? Yeah. You're only like 40, 50 hours? Yeah. So at least is considered an intern. <laughs> All right, when you're at 40, that's not even like part-time. Chris is part-time, at least is interning. And one day she'll be part-time. And then one day full-time, hopefully, right? Yeah, yeah. Salim was gonna come, but he's getting ready for vacation. He's packing. Yeah. Kathy would be here, but she is, uh, she just, she's in the hospital. She's recovering, just had a baby, so. Uh, yeah, guys, so it's very important in business to, to switch up your day a little bit sometimes. We're doing the same thing all the time. We're always working, doing stuff, making it great for our members, keeping them coming, answering your questions, helping you out, giving you smiling faces of support behind the scenes. Uh, so believe it or not, though, our days can get monotonous. So we like to have fun, right? We, have, we fun. have fun all the time. Always having fun. You have to have a great environment in order to build a huge company. You know what I mean? Uh, Kaiser embodies that. He's a great leader. He knows how to put a team together. He knows how to work with different personalities. Um, and, you know, that's very important. You know what I mean? If you don't know how to work with people, uh, you're not going to be in business. So, this is, you know, it's great. You know, very kind of him to do this. We super appreciate him for doing this. Uh, we're being out with him. Um, but this is, uh, you know, what uh, Boston That's the do. alcohol talking, guys. That's alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anson is that's that? appetizer. That's appetizer? Yeah. Okay. And it's not the pasta, it's anti-pasta. Anti-pasta. Yeah. So, guys, we are waiting um, to order. All right, now, when it comes to Long Island and uh, Queens, I guess, we're close enough to Queens, right? Believe it or not, you know, a lot of people take this place for granted, but it's one of the best places to eat. You know, uh, if you guys, well, you know, recently I was in L.A. and we didn't shoot anything on the boot camp side, but uh, even the Italian restaurants there, this is very comparable. Um, Christian loves the L.A. restaurants, right? I love the L.A. restaurants. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So again, like this is a place where everyone knows about. Everybody comes here if you're on Long Island. We don't, we don't, we don't have too many great places to eat out here, but and we take it for granted. But um, it does stand up pretty well. You know, the food is very good. The ambiance is very nice. The service is today a little sketchy, but generally very, very good. You know, those of you that come out here and get kind of, kind of bored that you're coming out here, you know. Well, I mean, the bottom line, too, is this neighborhood is one of the richest in America. You know, there's great houses here. There's uh, great fitness places here, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so this place does deserve uh, a good Italian restaurant. Uh, this is one of the best malls in the country, believe it or not. Again, it's one of the only good malls, so you guys probably come out here a lot. Whatever you got to do, you know, I know I'm always hearing about our members coming out here. A lot of our members work here. So, yeah, with, with anything, we take it for granted. As New Yorkers, we get kind of jaded if we take everything for granted. But this is a good place. This is a good spot. So uh, we're having a little bit of fun out here on a weekday, on a Friday, though, right? So it's, uh, it's not that bad. Why, why are you saying he needs a salad? 
Did you look at him and you were like, he needs, he needs a salad? That, that, was, that wasn't cool. He like looked at me, he's like, for you, sir, we have the salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice man. <laughs> for you, sir, I recommend the salad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys get? Yeah, they got the panini. He's like, uh, no, no panini for you, man. For you, we got the salad. Yeah. Yes, it's generally like an older crowd. Like when me and Chris were just talking, or I was saying that when I was in LA recently, I was at a very similar place. And it's a very famous, well-known place, Phil Pasteo. But what's funny about that crowd is they get older people, they also get a lot of younger people there too. Wow, okay. It's like the young Hollywood scene that wants to look young and kind of, uh, I mean, to look cool. Uh, and, and see and be seen, they, they go over there. Yeah. But here you don't see that. You don't see young people like like Chris, uh, Elise, and me. Uh, <laughs> the fuck is so funny? What's so funny? What's so funny? She's, she's not laughing. She's not laughing. <laughs> What's so funny? And Jess, and me, right? So you don't see, what, what is, I don't get it, man. You okay? Look at people looking at you. Yeah, yeah so you don't see young guys people. Super young. Yeah, yeah, super yeah, young. guys. So you don't see young people like us typically. Places like uh, or, or, or here typically, you know. So we're trying to change that, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna start having our sales meetings here, and we're gonna we're gonna young this place up. I mean, you see a lot of kind of older people, married people, uh, and you see their kids. You see little kids here, so. Uh, we're gonna make this like the nice, uh, cool young uh, young people spot, guys. So we're gonna change the Again, okay, out here we have the best of everything, you know. Get good food, best places to work out in the country. Absolutely. Right here. Right here. Better body. Yes. Nothing else, nowhere else. So the area we're at now, Manhattan, Roslyn, well, fitness as a whole is blowing up, getting very big, expanding. And we have a lot of places coming in here, guys. We passed one on our way here. There's a few others, a few of the brand names. I'm not going to mention their names. But I have actually profiled them on our business stuff and our boot camp stuff. So you guys know these names. They're all coming out here. But the thing is, we always have a head start. So I've been researching these places, going to them, taking our team to them to make sure that we are better. We do not charge more. We're not as pretentious. But if, you're, if you want training, we're better. Oh, I, you know, and generally not supposed to say that. It sounds weak to say, hey, we're better, but that's just the bottom line, guys. We put in the work, so it's not weak or not us bragging, just telling the truth that we put in the work to make sure that our training program is the best. When you're talking about around here in Long Island, we have Great Neck, and we have Salim, who we were just talking about, the best, and all the rest of our trainers, Josh is there, everybody's there. So uh, the more the merrier, guys. Uh, we're gonna fit in very nicely to the uh, fitness landscape. And when you do your job in any industry, this is a great lesson, as the market expands, it only helps you. So if you're not doing your job, if you're kind of hiding in the corner, competitors can be a problem and you're worried. You're like, oh no, who's gonna steal my customers? But actually what we're seeing now in our space is the market is expanding in some crazy, crazy ways. That we're seeing uh, more and more people waking up to our type of service, to a boutique service, to a bootcamp service, to a place where you train and nothing else. Until now, people thought gyms, they've devalued our service. They're like, hey, you cost more than the gym. Well, now they're getting, yeah, there's a reason why they cost more. So the market is expanding. And I hope what these competitors do is they continue to expand the market. They're gonna wake more people up to paying for boutique fitness services, to paying for class services. So those guys are going to be like, hey, this is a real thing. I love classes. I love training. I love a boot camp style workout. Then they're going to discover better body. And it's a wrap. Game over. Game over. So we're very happy to see that. We're happy to see the market expand. And we're doing our job. So we're happy to see uh, it continue to expand. And the fact that other people are entering it, that's just, that's just business, right? But we'll be entering more neighborhoods with our franchise expanding. So... Uh, this is for now, you know, uh, I mean, I'll say very honestly, uh, it hasn't hit saturation yet. I think more people should be working out. Every man, woman, and child in this restaurant either is, uh, should be, or will be working out soon. 
and there just has to be enough fitness places to serve them. There is Italian restaurants and food places on every corner to serve them. Well, when it comes to fitness, that's going to have to pop up on every corner to serve them. And the best Italian places like Tripoli you're going to get our business, and the best fitness places like Better Body are going to get that business too. Absolutely. So important in fitness, have your fitness as priority, like I said before. You know, with Kaiser all the time. Every single moment, there's not a moment of the day where fitness is not a priority. You have to be healthy, no matter what. J-Lo, Salim says this all the time, J-Lo works out twice a day, three times on Monday, so don't skip a Monday. And it's very important, you gotta make sure you work out, man. It's very important. Everyone's knocking the old guys. Everyone's knocking me. They call it Artie Fat, the way they call it Artie Fat. You say, Artie, listen, yeah. you need a salad. Yeah. Everyone listen, man, else. It's not my place to say it, but buddy, you need a salad. <laughs> we, we love him. Artie's perfect in our eyes. He's the man behind the camera, which is, if you know him, it's where he belongs. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Is the salad on the way for, for Arnie? No, no, that's fine. I was just double checking. No, no, thank you. He knows where the salad's going to. Don't worry, man. First of all, we're talking about, you know, just me and Christian, how we met. And we actually met him at, like, an Italian, like, restaurant. I don't know if you call it a restaurant, but it's still a well-known place out here. Skinny Pizza is where Christian used to work. Now, I was a very frequent customer there, believe it or not. So... Now you see me eating healthy, this thing, well, eating as healthy as possible, right? Not touching any of the pizza, the rest of the gang, you know, you, you, you ever want to eat a lot of food, go out to eat with skinny people. So I'm out to eat with a bunch of skinny people, except for Artie. And, um, and we are, so we have a lot of food here, but I'm not really touching any of it. So in the old days, <laughs> the way I met Christian is uh, I would eat the occasional pizza, or like we were kind of saying, maybe a little more than the occasional pizza, but... These days, guys, it's all about weight management. So even if you're eating out, if you're gonna eat out, make it good, make it fun, enjoy the people, celebrate something, make it a good time, but it's not about the food anymore, guys. So there's pizza out here, there's all kinds of food that everyone's enjoying out here, but just keeping it to the lean stuff. Uh, so again, there's, there's other things to enjoy. You know, it's, like, it's a great, beautiful summer day. It's uh, too bad we couldn't sit outside. So there's more to the whole eating experience than just the food. So when you are enjoying yourself with food, uh, make it more about the experience. Do it less often, and then when you do do it, do it somewhere nice like this. But you know, you could say that I've been on my eating game, doing a really good job. Like, oh, hey, Kaiser, why don't you enjoy the pizza or whatever? And, and it's true, it wouldn't kill me, but it's not an excuse or a reason to, um, to get off my eating game. And I'm working very hard on it. And again, I'm working very hard on it to, to what? To get super ripped? No. Even weight management as you get older, I mean, we've established I'm still very young, right? But as you get older, uh, weight management is a win. Weight loss, that's obviously the super win, right? Over the past year, I've been able to lose, able to lose a lot of pounds, uh, a few pounds, uh, which is good. Um, but I intend to keep it off. You know, that's the whole thing. Like, a lot of you guys are losing weight. But is it going to be permanent? That's the question. So I'm not on a diet. I'm not like depriving myself. I'm following the eating plan that I'm going to follow for the rest of my life. So uh, hopefully I'll continue to lose body fat in a normal, sensible way. That's not on a diet that falls in with my normal eating. And I'll continue to make good choices. And weight loss is obviously a huge plus, but as you get older, even weight management is a win. And it's going to take sacrifice, guys. It's going to take sacrifice, but it's worth it. Looking good, feeling good, being able to do everything you can. Everything that comes with aging, not experiencing any of that, those are all big pluses and those are all big wins. You know, uh, a lot of times, like, food is a pleasure. It's an enjoyable thing. And, and, and when you're young and all that stuff, you know, we all do that. But you have to also think about, you have you have associations with certain things. So the, the food, the pizza looks like, you know, it looks great. So there's an association of my taste buds and the pleasure with the food. Then there's an association of how, if I eat bad often, that's gonna negatively impact me. So I got the positive of the taste buds here, 
but I have the negative, or if you want to say the better positive of feeling lean, feeling able, maintaining my health, maintaining you know my all my physical ability, right? So that positive is way above the taste buds positive, guys. So if you're having trouble with food, you're probably not understanding how big this positive is. Not understanding that the way you're gonna look and feel, how good that's gonna make you feel, you're putting the food higher than that. So you have to really think about it, maybe write it a list, or just really give it some thought and realize that positives of a healthy lifestyle, for the temporary positive of some good tasting food, I mean, there's no comparison, guys. So again, I eat, I drink, I enjoy myself. I live a normal life, but for the most part, I try to do a good job and um, still have a good time eating. So, amazing. that's the bottom line. Absolutely amazing. Incredible. So ask your parents if you should be working out once a day. They'll probably think you're crazy. It's a cultural thing. So I think we're wising up and we're getting smarter. You need to be working out once a day. Once that is established, you should find some other way to be active. Only if living a long time, feeling great, being injury free, looking your best, keeping the spark in your relationship, or if you're single, finding a great person, only if those things matter to you. If those things don't matter to you, making a great impression, eh, it's kind of overrated, right? We judge people by the inside, right? And yeah, you know, when I'm older, I don't mind spending time in a hospital, strapped to machines. Eh, doesn't sound that bad to me, right? They, they don't have medication by then, or... You know, I kind of wake up in the morning. I don't, I don't like how I feel, but whatever. I'll just take a pill for that. If that's acceptable to you. That's fine. But almost everything else uh, can be solved through taking care of your body, guys. So if that stuff matters, then um, working out once a day, and then even beyond that. So get that done first off. Well, first off, get your every other day, right? If you're not working out, get your every other day. Your hard day, it's gonna be hard if you're not working out, then your recovery day. Your hard day, your recovery day. Boot camp recovery, boot camp recovery. Then guess what, boot camp is gonna to start to be easy. So then start doing it every day. And then once that happens, get the fitness lifestyle going. That maybe it's a jog in the morning and boot camp. Maybe it wasn't a boot camp day, so it was a little workout at home and a jog. And then every now and then, you're gonna to start to get in tune with your body, so you're gonna know when your body needs a rest day. So you just take a full rest day and you'll know when you need it. And I'm not saying work out seven days a week all the time. But again, there's probably nothing better you can do um, for every other, for every part of your life. Uh, so um, it's a worthwhile investment. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. You know, it's not easy. Very easy, easily said. Um, not as easily done. All right, our food is here at the table. Speaking of working out, let's talk about food now, right? And what's another good reason to work out so you can enjoy amazing food? So you can have a great panini. Yes, some great grilled chicken. And a salad. And for some of you, it's a salad. Guys, all right. All right. You know who you are. If you need a salad, you know who you are. All right, guys. But uh, yes, another good reason. <laughs> Eating some great food is a part of life. Enjoying a great panini and all that. Part of life. Is life complete if you can't eat something that you want, something great that you want? If you can't enjoy uh, some great food every now and then, then that's that's not a life well lived. So, uh, working out allows you to do that, too. I got some good stuff here. Thank you. I got some good stuff. High protein. Right? Some veggies. Enjoying myself. And uh, staying more or less on my meal plan. These guys, not so much. That's okay. All right, guys. So, considering it's Jess's birthday and we're celebrating Chris, Chris's promotion and uh, the birthday of Kathy's child, you know what we'll do, man? Um, let's get uh, three pieces of tiramisu. Yeah, three, five plates. So, guys, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of tiramisu. Tir uh, tiramisu here is uh, amazing. Excellent, excellent. Top notch the best it's like butter it's like a big piece of butter so like we talked about i gave my whole little rant about how i'm eating healthy and now i'm gonna have yeah, some tiramisu right but it's like i said that's why we work out i don't come here very often if i do i'm gonna have some of the best stuff they have and that dessert is the best thing they have so 
That's why we work out, guys. Life isn't full, it's not complete unless you're enjoying uh, a little bit of food, a little bit. I'm not gonna have a whole piece to myself. All right, guys, we just enjoyed a great lunch with the team. All right, we have everybody here. You met everyone. Uh, we celebrated Jess's birthday and celebrate a lot of things. The birth of uh, Kathy's baby, Christian's promotion, Elise's uh, uh, six month anniversary working here, seven, seven month anniversary working here, uh, Artie's diet. All right, guys, so we celebrated a lot of things. So, um, yeah, and, uh, and we got a great food review we did, right, at Cipollini. So if you haven't been here, don't take it for granted. This was the local spot. It is a great spot.